how to fix 0xc 5 times 0 7b error or this application was unable to start correctly error so in order to fix this problem first of all what you need to do is go to the search bar right here and search for task manager and after you go to task manager click on run new task right here and after you do that right here in this section click on browse go to this pc go to the c drive slide down and go to windows scroll down and go to the system 32 option right here click on it and then search for the cmd file and click on open and after you have had this text inside your text box and click on space hyphen hyphen and type u-p-d-a-t-e and click on ok right here and after you do that your command prompt should open up and inside the command prompt what you can type is g-p-u-p-d-a-t-e and then click on enter and after that your policy should be updated and after your update has been completed then your problem of 0xc 5 times 0 7b error should be but if this option doesn't work out then what you can do is go to the search bar again and search for control panel click on enter go to programs and features option right here click on it and right here at the left side of the screen you can see turn windows features on or off click on it and after you do that make sure that you toggle on this first option right here dotnet framework 3.5 so make sure that you turn this on and click on ok and after you have presented to this screen right here click on let windows update download the files for you click on this option the first option right here and after you have had the downloading process completed then your problem should likely be fixed the next option that you can try out is go to your preferred browser and in the search bar of the browser search for DirectX end user runtime click on enter and after you do this go to the first site right here of the Microsoft right click on it and after you have been led to this page right here you can download the DirectX end user runtime web installer by clicking on the download and running the exe file so after you have downloaded this user runtime right here then your problem of application not being able to start correctly will pretty much be fixed so that's how we do it hopefully this video was helpful thank you very much